Hello, hello, and welcome back to my channel, and welcome back to the council. Last time we, well, had a bit of a confrontation with Napoleon. Whatever the hell this is, I don't know. It's a vase. Okay. Read the inscription. Ooh, I can do that. Ancient Greek, translated. It reads, the all-gifted. Could this jar be the original Pandora's box? No, Emily, no. I've found Pandora's box. It's not as impressive as I thought it would be, but that's how these things usually go. I detest that legend. Once again, women are made responsible for all of the world's evils. And stop playing with that pot. You'll break it. Come on, let's move on. Okay, yeah. Leave. No, wait. I could have opened it. Well, I didn't. Anyway, um... This is a game about a secret society with some occultic twist to it and all sort of weird things happening. And yeah. A golden fleece. Hmm? It's freezing. Hurry up. Uh No. Just gonna say nothing. Okay, what is that? An unofficial gospel? You'd be more likely to find this kind of book at the Vatican. Nothing special. The library at Buckingham has three. Mm -hmm. Nope. Okay, I, I probably should... Hello, what's that? Oh, yes. Collector coins, but do I... No, I don't have any of the thing that restores my my action points or whatever points those those are and now I'm all out of no effort effort points that was the thing hey Mortimer hmm. is the author of this work it talks about his passion for art hmm lovely okay now I have a art book Anything else interesting in here? No? Okay, you're just gonna stay there. And I can't, okay, do anything about these anymore, so... Okay. Can I go through here? No, I cannot. Oh, hello. You're beautiful. All right, what else do we have here? I need more of that jelly. Guess what I found? The Holy Grail. Older than that. A piece of Noah's Ark. Not that old. This could go on for hours. Just tell me. Caesar's laurel wreath. Um. Uh. Do you know why laurel wreaths are used and not, say, mistletoe or another plant? No, I don't. The laurel wreaths symbolize glory in Roman times. In your opinion, what kind would suit me best? Mm, a crown of nettles. <laughs> Oh, Emily, I like you. <laughs> Even if your dress is a bit out of oh, place. Looks like a pamphlet on different political regimes. Huh. Written by Mortimer himself. Okay, that's cool. And that's a beautiful sword. You should see the sword, Emily. It's magnificent. What are I'm you... Busy. Describe it to me. What are it we really looking does look like for, Jimmy actually? Arkansas. The famous maid of Orléans. One of your favorite historical heroines. You bet. Given the number of English butts she kicked. And we all know where that got her. When you finished playing, maybe you can help me search the place? What are you looking for? I have no idea. Also, I'm still annoyed by her dress. It's just... Alright. I collected four amber fragments. Maximum effort points increased by one. Amber. Lovely. Except it doesn't help me because I don't have any of them to use. Oh, Here's and a cutscene. Interesting. A man what? in Maine. Hundreds of acres of land in Catalonia. Properties in Shanghai. Incredible. Some of these deeds are over 600 years old. And all signed by the hand of Mortimer. I wonder if that's what inspired my mother's attention. How come all these documents have Mortimer's signature on them? He's a vampire. All these properties really belong to him. Oh, he's just very, very good, like, forger. These documents must be fakes. 
No man can own that many original works, no matter how rich he is. Be careful. The Order has tried many times to estimate his personal wealth without ever succeeding. And look here. Castles in Scotland, vineyards in Italy, districts in Venice. He's richer than some European countries. These documents are intriguing, but do you really think that's what attracted your mother's attention here? And how do you know my mother was interested in this room? I didn't know, I just supposed she was. And you just confirmed it. So, do you I don't know that. What she came for? I don't know. She was obsessed with Mortimer, and I must confess, these property deeds are troubling. If that's the case, why would she have left them? Once again, I don't know. We'll have to ask her when we find her. And what's your take? Mm. What do you think? Okay, Tell how was it all Mortimer acquired? All this. It's just crazy. Secret connections, money, or a well-kept family treasure passed on from generation to generation. Who knows? That would mean some of Mortimer's ancestors lived before Jesus was born. It's I wonder possible. why my mother didn't make it clear what she was interested in here. She didn't have time to write it down, or maybe she wasn't sure of what she was looking for. Or maybe I or just missed it. she wanted to protect her discoveries. It's disturbing. You'll just have to search the rest of the room. Maybe you'll find something. Okay. Okay. I will. I will. Hmm. Huh. What is that you found? A cameo pendant. Oh. What's going on? So are we done Nothing. here? For crying out loud, Emily, you lunged for that jewel like your life depended on it. Tell me what this is about. No. We just met Louis. I like you, but I can't just suddenly open myself up like a book to you. Listen, Emily. It seems pretty obvious to me that you haven't come here for the sole purpose of sampling Mortimer's cellar. Stop all the clever evasions and just trust me. And why the hell oh, should I shit. place my trust in you, Louis? <sighs> because I trust you. No, wait, can I? I can't. Shit, this is going to... At least this way, things are clear. How do you expect me to open this is going you can't even because I don't have any effort points well, I'm, I'm just going to, to fail this oh, fuck. but I've nothing to gain by confiding in you any further than that nothing to gain damn it Emily I'm only trying to help you stop needing to gain something all the time because you think I need help just like everyone you have your strengths and your weaknesses and there's no use pretending otherwise ha and I bet you found out where I'm weak haven't you Okay, uh, your weakness is in psychology, I think. Your scathing wit protects you, but in fact, it makes you blind. No sooner have people introduced themselves and you already see them in a bad light. You play the part of a strong woman, and yes, you are a strong woman, of course. But what I see is a sensitive young lady who lacks self confidence. Oh, fuck you, Stop mister. Stop adopting a defensive posture, and you'll see just how quickly new doors will open. You have no there idea. Is some truth to what you say. Oh, okay. I might have some weaknesses, but I don't need your help to overcome them. And I'm simply not contemplating collaborating with anyone at this time. Do you understand? Okay. She prefers to work alone. She likes to lead investigation. She takes orders from someone. No, and now I can't do all this. She already has a partner. No, I think she just prefers to work yes. alone. You're the kind of girl who gets Don't by on her girl, own and huh? shares nothing. Jesus. The fact is, you are completely mistaken about me. Oh, crap. I already have a work partner. Oh, I know oh, my damn it. Weaknesses. I don't doubt that your abilities will be of use to me, but I already have all that, thanks to my teammate. Is there any chance you might tell me who he is? Mm, no, I've already said too much. Consider yourself lucky I've even given you this much. It's extremely rare, believe me. Come on, don't stop now that you've come this far. You know that eventually I'll end up making you talk. <laughs> no, well, I won't. Since no one can resist you, let's see if you can guess who my partner oh, is. Oh crap, oh you're no. You're a gambler. So, your partner is... Um... Okay, fortunately this is not timed. Um... There aren't too many women in here. I 
could guess it's a woman and it is her mother. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that. My mother. Yeah. It's as obvious as it is surprising. You're my mother's hard-hitting partner. Oh, God. Do you really believe the nonsense Aww. that comes out of your mouth? Well, a second ago I did. A little. Sorry, Louis. Your mother is not my partner. Okay. Fine, let's go with a the man, then. And member of Chances the Order. Are, you're working with a member of the Order. The only members of the Order, other than ourselves, are your mother and Mr. Washington. The former has sadly gone missing. As for the latter, I knew nothing of his arrival. Incidentally, you ah, have noticed how failed it. our Order communicates internationally. Failed right, this. Oh, you crap. You convinced me. I prefer to remain discreet. Don't take it the wrong way. Damn it! All I can tell you is I'm looking for my sister. And if I reacted so strongly at the sight of the cameo pendant, it's because I thought it belonged to her. But it doesn't. I understand. I won't insist. It's time to leave. Oh, crap. Okay, that didn't go too well. Oh... <sighs> So, what do you think of our first adventure? I must admit, it has been fun by your side. Same here. Hmm. Okay, and I, I assume that the episode one will end here. Hello. Oh, Where are your clothes? Too much again. Louis, I need to talk to you right now. Good evening, Elizabeth. Actually, this is not a good time. I'm begging you, please don't leave me alone. Okay. I'll be waiting for you in your room, but don't be late. Why are you waiting for me in my room? Oh god, don't tell I'm me sure there's some shitty romance plot in this. Louis, we need to talk now, otherwise it'll be too late. <sighs> Looks okay. like Elizabeth really needs me, but if I start talking to her, for sure Emily won't wait for me. What should I do? Well, I have already messed things up with Emily, so I'm gonna I'm follow sorry, Elizabeth. Emily, Besides, this is interesting. Elizabeth like this. Alright, Elizabeth. How can I help? Thank you. Come on, follow me. Also, that undergarment thingy is well, out of Elizabeth, place in this so time urgent? period. For God's sakes, what happened in here? Oh, all right. This looks interesting. I really need to talk to you, Louis, right now. Does Lord Mortimer know the mess you've made of your room? Listen to me, damn it! My days are numbered. Elizabeth, I don't know if it's about my mother again, but I'm telling you, you've nothing to be afraid of. She didn't come here for you. I saw her. Saw who? Oh. You saw my mother? When? Just last night. I went out to walk along the cliff top and I saw her in the distance. She tried to hide right away, but I'm sure it was her. Are you saying you recognize my mother in the middle of the night while she was hiding? Yes, Louis. I know it was her. You just said she was far away, right? In the middle of the night. And the exterior of the island isn't exactly well lit. Listen, I'm telling you, it was her. Mm -hmm. Did you talk to each other? Oh, no, but, she was far oh, away. I didn't, I didn't have make enough any skills. When she was gone. Have you told anyone you've seen her? Also, her home? Mortimer? Well, that's just. You don't understand. Wait, this it's out. Her. She's here. Yes, I understand. No, you're not listening. The moment I saw her, I was overcome by spasms. She's here. I'm telling you, it was her. Yes. This is weird. I need something to calm me down. But yeah, if there is a weird cut here, yeah, I'm gonna I'll take a class. You, but let's go easy on it, okay? Um, Torsta decided to again jump over my screens, and she also well, smelled like shit, so I had to go and wash her. So Frankly, there was a bit of a pause there. You know, Louis, when I came here, it was in the hope of getting help. I've only just now realized that I've been drawn here into a trap. Hmm. Whoa. The alcohol's <sighs> gone to my head. What? Did you? Don't you? Wait, what? Here, the condemned's last drink. 
think I'll stop Elizabeth, here. Alcohol never solves anything. I'm gonna stop now. Listen up. You want to know what your mother was capable of, right? You want to know the reason why? Well, you're gonna have to follow me to the bottom of the abyss, Louie. Either drink or get out. Mm, drink or get out. Not no, really. I won't drink. All right, Louie. Then get the hell out of here. You're incapable of opening your eyes, so be it. Get out! Okay. Calm down. I'm going. I'm going. Um... Okay, this was a weird scene. I'm not sure what to make of this. This was a really weird scene. Okay. Then what? Why the hell did I go with Elizabeth? Because I was curious. And... I could have then again, Emily, but no, I had to go play the night with a big heart. Don't don't oh, well, say like right. that. Tomorrow's another day. Also, I got confirmed that my mother mother should still be alive. Mm. Mm. I'm still out of effort points. God damn, mm. that is very unfortunate. What? Monsieur de Richet, I am arresting you for the murder of Elizabeth Adams. Oh what shit! On? You are in deep trouble, my young friend. Indeed. Okay. So apparently this was wait. Okay, I resolved the Medi Medusa riddle and discovered Lord Mortimer's room. Found out Emily is hiding something. Um, except to keep Elizabeth company, left Elizabeth's place before I got drunk. I couldn't learn Elis Emily's secret and yeah, I could have spent the night with Emily, but I didn't. Because I don't want any stupid romance plots in my games, thank you very much. Alright, so, skipping the middle part there of the recap and such, straight into episode Two of the Council. Last, Hide and seek. Alright. Do you mind if I call you Louis? Please do. Thank you. I wish to apologize wholeheartedly, Louis. I made you cross the seas, and I wasn't even here to welcome you. Oh. When I asked you to join us here, it, it was, of course, in the hope that you would help us find your mother. Mm -hmm. But an act of horrific violence occurred during the night. And I do not know if this is linked to the disappearance of Sarah. Okay, uh, what do you mean? What are you getting at? What act of violence? No, oh my god. We, we found Elizabeth Adams' body in her room. Mm -hmm. She was brutally murdered, stabbed several times. <gasps> Did I Emily set me up? Louis. According to the initial elements at my disposal, you were the last person to see her alive. It's true. Yes, last night we... Uh, do you suspect me? I want you to tell me everything that happened last night and leave nothing out. Okay. Me, how did the evening begin? Mm-hmm. I was with Duchess Hillsborough. Hillsborough. and I were returning to our rooms when Elizabeth came up to us. She was in a state of panic and assisted that she needed to speak to me. She said she feared for her life. I took my leave of the Duchess and followed Elizabeth to her room. Mm -hmm. Continue. She insisted we have a drink, without which she refused to confide anything. What exactly did she want to speak about? Um, she thought she'd she seen my she mother. She saw my mother the previous evening on the cliff, if I remember correctly. I'm just going to be honest here. I will send someone as soon as possible. But do go on. I refused to go on drinking with her. She already seemed drunk and her conversation became confused. So then she ordered me to get out. If only I'd stayed. Don't blame yourself, Huey. How could you have known? But thank you for this new information. Louis, 
I shan't hide the fact that this tragedy puts me in a very delicate situation. Mm -hmm. I cannot risk upsetting the smooth operation of our next conference. Smooth but operator. the case cannot remain unaddressed. Um, yeah, I let him finish. Reassure my guests, and justice will be done. And for that to happen, I must ask. So now I know. have to Why solve that? Elizabeth's you murder. Met Elizabeth. You spoke together, I believe. She trusted you. No, she didn't. Listen, Louis. Find out who could have committed this murder. I Called refuse it. to believe that one of my guests is the murderer. I want to know who is responsible for this. And I trust you. You have my backing. You must stop at nothing. Can I count on you? Of course. Sure. How would you like me to proceed? Maybe you could start by going to the scene of the crime. Elizabeth was attacked in her room. Uh, any details? Can you tell me anything else about what happened? Now, Louis, I wouldn't want to influence you. Get over there and form your own opinion. Okay. Okay. Right. I'll get over there immediately. Thank you, Louis. Now, once you've finished, come back and let me know your findings. I'll be waiting. Okay. And Louis, you've got permission to search through the guests' rooms. They've all been notified and they agree. Okay, that's cool. Except I could have done that in the previous episode already. And, well, I didn't. And now I think they might have uh, hidden things. Can I go in there? No, I can't. Okay. Investigate Adams's death. Oh, there's golden elixir. thing. Hmm. Good. I'll keep it for later. And there's a... Oh. Okay, another coin. Not sure if those mean anything. Is there anything else to collect here? Because I need things. Key with an occult water symbol. Oh! Not a book. Purgatory. Why does your mind presume to flight when you're still like the imperfect grub, the worm before it's attained its final form? Charming. Hmm. There was a Dante's book in my room as well. Okay, I guess I'll go. Hello, sir. Good day, Monsieur de Richet. Mr. Volner, are you looking for anything in particular? Next to Elizabeth's room? I... I... No, no, I... Mm -hmm. Okay, fresh. you're lying, apparently. So, uh, it looks dodgy, um... Okay, don't tell you anything. Have to go back to your room, as Lord Mortimer asked you to. And may I know why you yourself are not in your quarters? For very sad reasons, sir, which only concern Lord Mortimer, the only person I'm accountable to. Oh well, look at you, <laughs> the new right-hand man. Indeed. See, I shall leave you now, sir. I will return to my room. Thank you. Bye. And you just vanished. <laughs> Good job, mister. Anything to collect here? Mm, no. Okay. Into the room we go. Hmm. This. Sure is interesting. And... Okay, my miter is all crooked. Okay, there we go. Oh, and the body is still here! Oh god. Nobody's even covered her. Why? What? What? Okay. Okay. Starting with this. Do I have the key for this? A chest with a half circle pattern. I don't think I have a proper key. Oh, I did. Alright. Take the things. Good. An untutored hand copied these notes. Okay. Looks like a healing method. Well, that's a pity. The writing is barely legible. Yeah, yeah, take the notes. Take the notes. Obviously, take the notes. Okay. Then, okay, let's be methodical about this. Start with the body here. Poor girl bled to death. 
Well, sure, I've been stopped. Ooh, look, that footprint has boats for feet. That's at least a size 15. Where's a size like that here? Peru? Washington, maybe. We don't know. But I do suspect Washington because he was um, shocked to see her here. Oh god, okay, this very, again, very uncomfortable close-ups. Very uncomfortable close-ups. And I kind of, okay, examine the legs. A trace of blows on the legs. Uh-huh. Sexual assault, okay, I can't do either of these tattoos. tattoos. Similar to those on the rest of her body. Okay. Return. Head. I see no sign of bruising on the skull. The only clue is a scar from a previous craniectomy. Poor Elizabeth, she... She must have been very young when she went through all that. That's torture. She also has old scars around the neck. Maybe mutilations. We don't know. Okay. Nose. She bled from the nose. Uh, observe the bleed. There's signs of bleeding, but I don't see any traces of bruising. Sure, it's already made. Ah, okay. Mouth? What a strange smell. Smell? Laudanum. Certain courtiers use it to get drunk. If taken in large quantities, it can provoke fits of madness. Oh, huh. okay. That's interesting. Arm. There's marks on the body. She must have fought like a lion. It couldn't have happened without a lot of noise. There are also a number of old scars. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Any scarring? Scar themselves in this way generally do so to release some kind of psychological suffering. By trying to master the pain, they establish their self control. Well, oh. okay. That was weird. Tattoos. Translate text. Ancient Greek. Let's see what it means. Oh These God! Why do you have to go so to protect close? Their bearer. But from whom or from what? Mm-hmm. Upper body. Fewer than nine wounds on the thorax, with a lot of blood. At first sight, I'd say that's what caused her death. But did it though? Okay, I don't have enough skill points or those no wounds, things. Blood on the right hand. Nothing on the left except that tattooed symbol. Observe. The marks are bruising around the wrists. It doesn't look like she was tied up or held by force. Mm hmm. Okay. Leave. Then, the. Okay. Don't don't step on the blood, you idiot. Knocked over a bottle of wine. Smell. Do we smell laudanum here? <coughs> Same thing Elizabeth served me last night. Still just as disgusting. Wait, I am what is that condition I mark there? I don't wine, remember. It's undrinkable. Is I exhausted or something? I don't know. The blade. The blade is short and thin. Well sharpened, apparently. It's covered in blood. Still fresh. Mm hmm. The lower part of the handle is unsullied by blood. The murderer gripped the weapon so tight that there's no blood where he held it. The handprint indicates a small and slender hand. Okay, okay. What else do we have here? The blood spatter indicates that the murderer must have held Elizabeth upright during the attack. Even if uh -huh. Elizabeth wasn't very big, I, I doubt she wouldn't have put up a struggle. Well, it's she did. strength to overpower someone like that. So wait, do we have a kind of a... A 
murder in the Orient Express type of scenario here, where there are multiple murders. The label shows that this laudanum comes straight from America. Mm -hmm. I wonder if Washington's involved. Yeah, okay, leave. Come on, I need skill points. Or effort points, whatever the hell they are. Okay, there we go. Royal jelly, thank you. Should probably take more of that, so yeah, now I have four points too. Telegram. What the hell's been going on here? To use the Yeah, I remember mother's Many books. Esoteric rituals are based on this shape. Could Elizabeth have been sacrificed during an occult ritual? Well, if she was, she probably wouldn't have been there. Okay, here. What do we have huh. here? The talisman that I gave back to Elizabeth. I can't exactly say it brought her good luck. And something there. Carmelite water. And something else. Oh, coins. Just coins. Oh, thrashed your bed. Uh huh. Piece of fabric. High quality at that. I'd say it's silk. Going by the texture and the gray hue, it must come from a, a dress, that kind that women of quality wear. Cost reduced by... Ah, it's a travel okay. dress. The silk has been lightly waxed to protect it from bad weather. And I know the very woman who came up with the idea, given all the traveling she does. My mother. God help us. Why did she come here in the first Ooh. place? The material appears to have undergone abnormal wear and tear. She must have been scouring the countryside, and that doesn't look good. Okay. So... How about it? Did my mother kill her then? 30 November, uh -huh. 1791. My dear sister, the cancellation of our reunion hit me like a stab to the heart. Father told me it was for your well-being, but I can't help but blame him. He claims that your condition has worsened and that it could be dangerous for both of us if we met. If only I knew where you were, believe me, I'd be at your side. I haven't received any news from you in a long time. Please write. Your loving sister, Abigail. Hmm, okay. And five circle shaped August key. 24th. 1792. Elizabeth, I'm driven to despair and doubt there is any point in writing to you. I'm not even sure you'll receive my letters. Father controls my correspondence more and more. I am certain he filters our exchanges. Thankfully, one of the chambermaids is able to help me get my letters to you. But they still remain unanswered. I often think about you and Pray every day mm. to be able to hold you tight. We have so much time to make up. I beg you, answer me, please. Your loving sister, Abigail. P.S. That horrible woman came again yesterday. She spent a long time speaking with father. I didn't understand everything because they spoke in mm -hmm. French, but I'm sure they were talking about you. Okay, and there's uh, one more letter, at least. These are very long and very slow, I'm sorry. June 11th, 1791. My dear Elizabeth, your last letter gave me much cause for concern. Your words were so cold, as if emotions no longer matter to you. Father maintains that the secondary effects of your treatment still trouble you, but that they will soon subside. Should I believe him? I cling to the belief that we shall soon see each other again long last right soon your loving sister abigail p.s don't forget to tell me what present you want mm -hmm. a notebook written in elizabeth's handwriting it is take it in a mix of several languages not too easy to work out uh -huh. it looks like a mixture of medieval latin and anglo-norman it is difficult to make sense of this jerky writing i can make out some passages though He's coming. The demon is upon me. Mm -hmm. He's coming back to kill me. There she is. Death has come to finish me off. I've just run into her son. That was her last entry. What tortured writing. Okay. 
That was interesting. Is there anything else? A novel of the initiation of a young woman into polite society. Okay, that's cool. Discovered immunity, psychology, Elizabeth Emma Adams. The talisman that I gave. Oh no, wait. I can't exactly say it brought her good luck. This, this is already. I've already examined that, and that, and oh, there is. Here is something. Clock stopped at 3:54. If it was smashed during the murder, then I've just established the time of the crime. Mm-hmm. It well, we don't know that. And I want to talk to you as well. My dear Elizabeth, I'm writing to inform you of There's no date here. Things. We won't be able to meet as planned on the first Sunday of May. I've been told that you're no better, and unfortunately, your brothers and I are absolutely snowed under by the work required to govern this new country. Please excuse us. As soon as we can get free, even if it's just for a day, I promise we shall come and see you. Your loving father, John Adams. P.S. Don't hold it against your mother if she still isn't ready. Please don't judge her. I'm sure you'll be able to put all of this behind you one day. Mm-hmm. Okay. Hello, mister. Has Sam finished with this room? Yes. I know enough now. Thank you. Very well, sir. Sir may return whenever need be. I shall guard the door. Okay, thank you. Bye. Okay, I do think that I'll have... Uh, no, wait, here's something. This I didn't notice before. A pistol? Fairly new, I'd say. And judging by the weight of it, fairly light. Dun, dun, dun. Check inside it's the barrel. Well maintained. The barrel is perfectly clean. It isn't loaded, and there's no traces of gunshot residue. Mm -hmm. I conclude that it hasn't been used recently. Okay. So hmm. the grip. There's a few dried traces of blood on the grip. Difficult to know for sure how they got there. A tribute engraved on the barrel to the liberators of France. Uh huh. You're right. I shall have to find its owner. Okay. And then... It would be lovely if... Wait, can I talk to you? Has Sam uh, finished with this room? Who made you know such a mess? Who could have made such a mess of this room? Miss Adams, sir. We were given orders to leave the room as it was, so as not to rush her. Did she have mm -hmm. a fight with someone to get the room into the state? Not that I know of, sir. Miss Adams would sometimes throw a tantrum, during which she would destroy anything that came to hand. Lord okay. Tell us not to enter the room. Thanks for that information. Ah, oh, so... Has uh, finished with this room? Yes, I am. I Thank know you. Now. Thank you. Very well, sir. Sir, may I return whenever need be. I shall guard the door. So, yeah, if... If Miss Adams had a habit of throwing things and thrashing around... Nobody would have paid any any mind to the noise of the fight the last night. Okay, where should I go next? What should I do? Can I... Okay, I can't go there. Can I go to somebody else's room then? Let's see. Okay, I can. So I can sneak around and peek around and, you know, snoop and do all of that fun thing. Hortus Delectorium, alright. I do like the fact that collecting the books actually makes. It's locked with a four letter code. Okay. It's really a word close to the owner's heart. Uh. No, move away. I don't have the the code yet, so I'm not going to go golden into... Elixir. Ah, golden elixir. Okay, wait, wait. Okay, there we go. 
And there we go. Now I should just talk with someone. The sorrows of young Werther. There's a handwritten text signed by Von Werner on this first hmm. page. Dear Elizabeth, I know that this book is but a small token compared to the delightful moments you gave me. But I hope that this will nonetheless keep the memory alive. Your ever obedient servant. So, uh -huh. I have a relationship with Elizabeth. But that's hardly surprising given his fondness for the occult. Alright. That's cool. Okay, and I need some skill points or effort points, whatever the hell they are. The signs of obscurantism. Okay, okay. Is Mr. Folder here? A Byzantine. Mr. Volner, I want to talk with you. Okay, that one, 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 one liquid thing I just drank. Ah, hello, here you are. What can I do for you, Derichet? Monsieur, Lord Mortimer has appointed me to investigate the tragedy that befell us last night. Oh, yes, it's horrible, yes. How can I help, Monsieur? Excuse me for asking, but did you know Miss Adams? Oh, mm -hmm. she. Uh, You're lying. Really to tell the truth, no. I found the Verter dedication signed by your hand, Monsieur. Would you like to change your version now? Be careful, Durichet. Don't push your luck. My relationship with Miss Adams was pure and has nothing to do with you. Mm -hmm. Continue playing the detective as you see fit. But if I find the bastard who did that to Elizabeth, I will... Yes! I would have preferred a simple response, but I see I have my answer now. Mm-hmm. What's your relationship over? Nature your relationship? Did you love her? And then I'm again out of skill points. I don't want to be out of skill points. Where, Where were, were you, you last, last night? night? In my room. I read a few ancient manuscripts before going to bed, but I didn't stay up long. I was tired. Thank you kindly. Okay. Okay. I'm just gonna leave now. We finished. I'll have a look around and then take my leave. Do whatever you have to do. Okay, I will. Thank you. Okay, that was a weird transition there. Do you have... Okay. Collector's coin. Anything in here? No. Oh. Amber. Amber. Why did the you sound so weird? Any bathtub? Anything in your things? Tell's thorn. Hmm. Mm, wait, wait, wait. Was there something there? No, it was just a reflection. Okay. Um, kind of want to talk to you a bit more, but then again, I kind of don't. Okay, I just might come back to you later, mister. Hmm, let's this try this. Liam? No. I thought it would be like Lizzie or Lisa or something like that or Adams or occultism. Huh. Okay. Zion? Could it be Zion? Let's see. Uh huh. No. No, wait. Fourth. No. Damn it! Okay, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, hopefully, I will find it. Hello, what's there? Search? No, wait, already made. Okay, fine. Moving along to the next place. Can I go in here? Uh huh. Hello. Will you fight me? Please don't. What do you want from me, Derichet? Greetings. Uh, it's fallen to me. Cut that... the crap! 
Get to the point. We both know why you're here. Okay. And have you got anything to tell me? What does it matter? It's too late anyway. Do what you have to do and get out. Okay, thanks. It doesn't look too well. No. Okay. Let's it's do never this. too late, sir. If you have something to say, now is the time. Ah. You don't understand. Everything's already written. Discovered so, vulnerability. Lovely. The culprit. What is it that's already written? I'm not sure I follow you. No, you don't. Okay. Okay, that was weird. But I'm just gonna search things. Four circles. Okay, and I don't have the key for this. How unfortunate. There was a coin. Can I find the key? The massacre of the innocents, but Ooh. by Van Harlem. I think that Mortimer likes to play mind games with his guests. Yeah, I think so too. Also, there's something in the fireplace. But for some reason, you don't see it. I don't know if we shall meet again. At this point in time, I'm a prisoner snared by my own decision. You must be protected. My future is lost without you. You can still be saved. No matter how much bitterness you hold against me, you must know that I made a pact with the devil who I thought I could master. I thought I knew the monster, but what I did for France is nothing compared to what they are capable of doing. Now I can't see any way out. The jaws are closing upon me. I love you now and forever. Oh, okay. Whose letter was that? And to whom? Okay, it's there. Can't do that. Fine. Fuck. Anything in here? Okay, there's another painting. The massacre of the innocent oh, wait. Rubens. A bit gloomy. Guess my room is not that bad. You have all these murder pictures here. Okay, let's go to here. What do we have in here then? Dear friend, please come and join us. We must meet about the ongoing operations in Canada. God, it's cold in here. The boat will be waiting for you in Calais, and we'll take you to Dover in England. From there, a carriage will take you to the port of Tintagel, where a frigate will be waiting for you and other guests, so you can meet up with me on my island as quickly as possible. I await your arrival. Mm-hmm. Lovely. What's that? Four circles saved key. Okay, now I can go and... Golden elixir. Consume without excess. Go and open that. That. Um, chest there. Records hmm? of the police. Notes intended for the police lieutenant of Paris. It's a list of people under surveillance in Paris. And there's some well known names on it. This is valuable information. Hmm. This shouldn't be lying around. Did I just take it? I just took it. Haha, <laughs> I'm an asshole. Talent unlocked bookworm. Yes, I am. Where was the chest here? A pattern with four circles. Use the key. Mm-hmm. Notes, letters, and some drugs. Dear Monsieur Peru. I'm writing to thank you for the funds you sent. These funds will be crucial for the renovation of the western wing of the orphanage. The children you sent are doing marvelously well, and little Pierre will soon be walking. Some of them still sometimes suffer nightmares about their mm -hmm. parents on the scaffold, but I expect they will cease in due course. Should you decide to send us more, please note that another 20 beds will soon be ready. The children and myself will never thank you enough. Long ah, recovery, so long Peru was taking sort of care of I'll retrieve it later. I have no space the... left. I'll retrieve it later. Oh. Okay. Carmelite water. Okay. And Devil's Thorn. What is this? Picture nice then. decor for a revolutionary tribunal judge's room. 
Indeed. But yeah, he was um, kind of helping the orphaned kids in the revolution to get to uh, orphanage and and helping the orphanage to stay afloat. So that's nice. Okay. Next. Up we have Napoleon, who hates me. Hello. What do you have here? Crossing the Alps. Another military success. Mm -hmm. Why do I get nothing but visions of horror in my room? And he gets victory after victory? What was that? A collector's coin? Wait, I can't... Oh, I can't reach it! Damn, I need more athletics. The Battle of Alexander at Isus, or how Alexander the Great triumphed over King Darius. Yet another one with delusions of grandeur. Mm -hmm. Oh, I did not pick up because I'm full. The Prince by Machiavelli. A perfect read for anyone with a surfeit of ambition. Hmm, that might come in handy. <laughs> I'm just stealing everybody's... Oh, discovered immunity. What was your immunity, mister? Politics and vulnerable to etiquette. Okay, good to know. Good to know. I have no reflection. All right. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. At least a little while longer. Hello, mister. I'm not going to talk to you right now. Search. Carmelite water. You say that if you drink this, it gives you a real boost. Mm -hmm. My dearest son, I'm writing to implore you to act quickly. The situation is rapidly worsening here. Powerly continues to steer our motherland, Corsica, toward open warfare between France and England. Mm -hmm. His men are everywhere. We are obliged to go into hiding and are unable to remain in the same place for more than two days. I wouldn't be surprised if they targeted us soon. Make haste, my son. You hold our destiny in your hands. You are loving mother. Loving mother, okay. Cool. Bicorn decorated with a cockade. It must belong to a French soldier. Yeah, it belongs to Mr. Bonaparte, who is sulking there in the other room. Ah. French actor Talma is Nero in Britannicus. Amber crystals. Amber crystals. They have a weird way of saying that. Okay, and there's a game of chess. Anything behind here? I guess not, because it goes oh, 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 too close, too close, too close. There's just one holster in Bonaparte's gear, and the pistol is missing. On the other hand, his cleaning equipment is in mint condition. That's typical of the soldier in him. So, I'm guessing somebody planted Napoleon's, uh... Gun into Elizabeth's room. As previously agreed, I would like to ask you to join us in January mm -hmm. on my island to participate in the high society meeting organized for the New Order for France proposition concerning your wish. About our project. Okay. Okay. I did not pick up golden elixir. Person Gedrix throws down his arms at the feet of Julius Caesar. By Royer, two great army chiefs. Okay. Okay. I'm just gonna go and talk to Mr. Oh, hello. It's a sword. Weapon. Levy Damask Blade. It's marked with the initials of the manufacturer in Versailles. Ah, discovered immunity conviction. Lovely. Okay, Mr. Napoleon. I'm gonna talk to you a little while. Monsieur de Richer, please be quick. We are both very busy. Yes. Um, question. Did you hear about young Elizabeth? Indeed. It is deeply regrettable. Lord Mortimer asked me to... I know. You no doubt want to know my alibi. Yes. I spent Thank the you. Night downstairs playing cards. Oh, with who? Can you tell me who was present at the game, please? Well. There were Lord Mortimer, President Washington, and Sir Gregory. Thank you. Okay. Ah, and his eminence, Piaget, as well. Excuse me, I nearly forgot him. 
castle. Mm hmm And what until what time? End? I can't say exactly. As for Around? me, I must have stayed until midnight. I was exhausted, oh, couldn't think straight. So I preferred to go So you, in fact, do not have an alibi. Bed, did you notice anything out of the ordinary? No, not in the least. The whole manor was sound asleep. Not really. No. Okay. Uh, anything out of the ordinary? Anything unusual during the evening? Nothing at all. Except the luck of the devil of Lord Mortimer and Sir Gregory at cards. Did they win much? Oh, la la, monsieur, they cleaned us out more like. But I plan on getting it all back before we leave. Mm hmm. Okay. Thank you. Do you want a pistol? Good soldier would. I imagine you own a firearm. May I see it? Oh, well, if you really want to, here is my pistol. Don't worry, it is not loaded. Do you have several of these? In Corsica, we, oui, but not on me when I am traveling. Only a bandit would carry such an arsenal. Oh, Thank you. okay. So it's not your pistol in well, Elizabeth's room. Finish, monsieur. Yes. Exactly. Thanks again for all your answers. Good day. Okay. Good day. Well, I think I'm gonna leave this episode of the council right here just to, you know, not make these too long. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching this episode. I am really into this game. This is right up my alley. I have to tell you that. But anyway, yeah, I'm going to leave this here. Thank you all so much for watching. If you liked it, let me know. I hope you're having a great day and I will see you again next time.